Honestly, I really just don't even know what came over me, guys. Um, I did this look using like 99% this palette from Urban Decay. Crazy, colorful, gorgeous palette. There are like no neutrals in it. So it automatically calls to just be fun, colorful. It's currently one o'clock in the morning and I don't, I don't know what made me do this. Hence my eyes being so red, sorry. And I just keep yawning, which makes me tear. Terrible. Anyway, I can tell you that I did not do this look because of Halloween. Um, Halloween is my least favorite holiday. And that's probably because I never celebrated Halloween a day in my life. I had like uber Christian parents who didn't let us go trick or treating and all that stuff. So it's kind of like when you don't do it, as a kid, I'm not gonna do it as an adult. And then on top of that, it's just annoying to me to see grown-ups dressed up. It's weird, sorry. Mm. Unless it's a theme party, like that's fun to go to like a party. But like, I was at the mall today and there was a bunch of people in costumes because all the stores were passing out candy. And it was like grown people in costumes and I was totally judging them, sorry. I know, you're gonna hate me for saying that, sorry. But like when your parents don't let you, it's kind of like it's never been a part of my life. So now it's just not a part of my life. Kind of like my parents didn't let me watch Boys in the Hood when I was little and I still have never seen it. So there we're even. Now you can judge me. Well, now that we're done judging each other, I do not want to hear about it in my comments section that I need to watch Boys in the Hood, okay? I get it. God, stop dressing up and I'll watch Boys in the Hood. Hmm. Anyway, this palette was so vibrant that the eye that I created just automatically was like, this is so 80s. And then I was just like, screw it, let's go all the way with it. So this is where we ended up. Got the um, pink forehead situation going. I mean, the roots and everything was just kind of like... That's me doing the MC Hammer. <sighs> Whatever. Or was that 90s? Well, before I dig this hole any deeper, if you'd like to see this look, then stay tuned. Okay guys, and as I stated, uh, most of the eyeshadows, if not all but one, are coming from this palette from Urban Decay. I'm gonna start by mixing these two colors. They're both kind of like pink, Fuchsias, Gossip, and Seas. I started out by priming my lid using Max Painterly Paint Pot. I started out using this color and then realized it didn't have the depth that I wanted, so then I started to use this color. Something that I want you guys to remember is that every little color you put down can change or alter um, the look. So even if I've done something that I didn't necessarily like on one eye, I will duplicate it on the other eye. So in retrospect, I would have not put down this color and only put down Gossip. Because I put down both colors on this eye, I'm going to do the same on this side because I wanna make sure that both sides match as best as possible. When I'm teaching my classes or, or even my one-on-ones, I'll tell the student that there's nothing that can't be fixed. Those tricks come in time and they come with making the mistakes and, and learning that nothing can't be taken back. I'm gonna use this dark purple right here. It's called Delirious, and I'm putting that in the crease of the eye. Using a MAC 221. Picking up the previous brush, I'm tweaking this. At this point, in the, at this stage, I have two colors on now, and the objective is to merge them together to not have a very harsh line and, and not be able to tell one color from the next. Of course, I want you to see the purple and I want you to see the pink, but I don't want you to exactly be able to identify where the colors merge. For my highlight, I'm gonna do this silver color called Iced. Now you would think that this brush, I bought it this way, but no. It's a pencil brush from Sigma that I didn't allow to dry properly in my kit when I like put it away and I was like oh it was just the first brush I saw and I was like oh that'll do once again 
what also comes with time is realizing I can do anything with any one of my brushes. I can do a whole eye with one brush if push came to shove. This is my brush bag. It's full to the max. So oftentimes, I just grab whatever's on top. Okay, I'm gonna wet a flat brush, just running it through a wet wipe. And I'm gonna take blindsided, which is this bluish color right here. I wet the brush to make it a little bit more pigmented. If you try to or oversaturate your brush with a color that's leaning more on the matte side, meaning not sparkly, it can ruin the eyeshadow by making it hard where you've put that wetness. I'm gonna take my same dented brush, which by the way, will go back to normal once I wash it. And I'm dipping into gold mine, this, this gold color. And I'm dabbing that into the center of the lid. Okay, and I'm gonna take a regular pencil brush. The original brush that I used to put on the purple is that MAC, and now I'm gonna use a pencil brush. Why am I using a pencil brush? To really make sure that my purple stays and doesn't spread out past the crease. Because it's got a smaller head, I can get more of a pronounced color and keep the color concentrated right there in the crease. I'm also gonna take that purple and just carry it to the corner of the eye. Also making sure that I've carried my pink out far enough. And again, that's because if I put my finger to it, I can kind of see this is where I want my guideline to be. I wanna make sure that I've carried the color far out past, you know, kind of making it look sloppy so that when I clean up my edge, it's still there and it still extends outward like this one does. Okay, I could take a wet wipe now. Clean up any fallout and drag that outward so I have my edge. Putting up my concealer. Pressing that out. I'm gonna set it and I'll be right back. So my concealer's on and I've warmed up my face a little bit by using a powder. I already had foundation on. Taking an angled brush and using Inglot's number 77 gel liner. I'm gonna create my wing, but I'm making it super, super thin. Okay, and you see I kept a space there. On this side, I have some yellow popping out there. So a space between our, our harsh line and our wing. I want to kind of mix this blue and this pink for the lower lash line. I'm going to start out with the pink, running it under there. And like this is where it kind of gets tricky because it's like, I don't even remember what I did. I just kept tweaking it. And I moved the brush up and I put some blue just right in the lash line. Then I took an angled brush and went into this dark blue right here. It's called Minx and I kind of collected, I kind of went over that lighter blue and connected my wing. Carrying that blue out towards the wing, running it along the entire length of the wing, and then went into our blue again and just kind of merged that blue into the dark blue, which is merging into the black line. And I'm just going to keep tweaking it, picking up one brush, putting down the other, adding that blue, and then going back into the dark blue and just merging over top, making sure that, again, you just don't see where all the colors are meeting. I'm using a mink lash from a company called Glow. Got to place that really delicately because my line is so thin that I can't misplace it because my uh, glue is black glue. Using that iced silver, I'm gonna put that right in the center of my eye. And the only color that I'm not uh, using from that palette is still Urban Decay. It's just this orangey color from the Ultimate Basics Naked palette. That's the color that I'm putting right here. Carrying it over, it's giving us some depth. And I am gonna line the inside of my eye. 
I used Inglot to do that. And I'm going to put on some mascara. This is this is Rocket Volume by Maybelline. Merge your top lash into your false lash. I'm putting mascara on it. I mean, you could take it super 80s at this point, or you could just leave it at this. I mean, this is just cool looking eyeshadow, if that's what you're into. But I could also take our pink color, Gossip, start putting it on my cheek. And then also carry that over onto the ooh, uber 80s vibes. Carry that onto the temple. So this was the color that I used to do that. And then I'm going to go to the purple above it. Just add some depth right there at the hollow of the cheek. I want to take this frosty pearly color from Dose of Colors. It is called Pearl Dust. Bruise Urban Decay. I mean, I just can't possibly imagine an 80s look that doesn't have a completely wrong and mismatched red. So there you have it, 80s all day. Of course, you can find the products that I just used in the description box below. Hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you right back here really soon. Bye.